Hey there, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be pulling you a few cards for December 2020. All right, so this could have uh, anything really to do with anything. I'm just stopping by saying hello and checking on in. Thank you all so much for leaving your comments last month. I really do appreciate that. So let's see here. Aries, all right, your very first card that we have, what's going on here? Spend some quality time together. It's imperative that we spend quality time with those that we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. And I understand you're all in different areas of your life. Some of you could be single in that should I stay, should I go relationship. Uh, also, too, maybe already in a committed relationship. All right. Uh, this is basically just reiterating uh, that for you. All right. If you're not in a relationship, it's just like, okay, Carolyn, that's it. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do? That self-love talk, it's getting kind of old. It, I understand how some of you may feel about that. However, uh, we do have to understand here that what we are putting out is exactly what we are getting. All right. How many of you out there have, it's just like, I'd rather be alone than to deal with all the nonsense. And we are going through some interesting times here. However, uh, this is pretty much regathering your bearings for some of you out there. Aries, for those that may be unfamiliar, you know, uh, fire sign. All right. So ruling planet is Mars. However, I'm really liking this too, especially for my singles out there. It's just like, all right. How am I supposed to really meet anyone out there um, with everything going on? I'm scared to go online. <laughs> Hello. Yes, absolutely. You know, uh, I'm scared to possibly, you know, the social media thing, everything going on. All right. Uh, possibly if you're already in a committed relationship and things are going great, fine and dandy, then that's awesome. Good for you. Make sure that you keep spending that quality time with each other. All right. Um, you don't have to worry about anyone trying to come on in, trying to take your man, take your woman, because they can't seem to get a grip on reality. All right. Uh, however, we can fall back into that p thinking pattern sometimes. You know, uh, definitely lean away from doing that. Uh, also, too, this is a connection that, that is going to be growing stronger, which I'm really liking. This is very positive. All right. So if you're in a committed relationship, spending some quality time together is key and very imperative at this moment here. How am I supposed to do that? All right. Uh, maybe they're spending too much time at work or trying to find a job or trying to figure out what's going on. You know, maybe... Um, they feel disconnected or distant from you. And uh, that's, relationships aren't perfect. I'm just going to say it like that. However, you two do have what it takes. You've been through the triumphs. You, again, everyone's in different areas of their life. But spending quality time together can reignite that spark. All right, that playfulness. All right. Uh, you know, if there's a particular movie that you've always wanted to see together, it's like, all right, we need to sit down, watch a movie, you know, maybe make a meal together. Uh, maybe it's just like, you know, I'm absolutely exhausted because I've been watching the kids, you know, worrying about this, talking on the phone with so and so that needs a shoulder crying because Aries, you know, that when people have a problem, they're just like, Bring, uh, okay, Aries, I know you're busy and you're going through some stuff here. However, girl, guy, like whatever it is, again, this is not gender specific, but people seem to call you when it's just like, whoa, do not unload all of your stuff on me. Yes, it's great to be sympathetic. Yes, it is great to get constructive criticism, give it. Uh, also, to you are a natural helper. You want to help people. You know, uh, people, it, it's almost like you almost get like a, a bit of a bad rap because people are just like, all right, you know, uh, they're too, they get, they fly off the handle, <laughs> Aries, uh, and not saying that you necessarily do. However, it's just like when you get pushed to your limits, you get pushed to your limits. And it's just like, all right, I've had all I can stand and I can't stand anymore. Uh, I'm feeling a more calm energy coming through. 
And it's just like when you try to do something, uh, it's not announcing your next move, your next step to everything. This does have a lot to do with love, you know, uh, and it's just like, you know, I'm thinking about asking him or her to marry me or I'm thinking about, you know, maybe asking this person out. I want to announce it to the world. There's nothing wrong with that. You should be able to do things like that. You know, unfortunately, we've got those people that are just waiting, just waiting for when we announce something fabulous and special. And it's almost like you want to be able to celebrate this and you rightfully should be able to or maybe even having some quiet time, you know, with your partner. If you are in a relationship, you know, maybe it's just like, you know, I'm exhausted, you're exhausted, let's just go to bed and just cuddle type of energy, stuff like that, um, or go out, get crazy, dancing, uh, whatever it is that you want to do. But this is a really good match for those uh, that are single. And it's just like, I want that partner to come in. However, it's not necessary at this point in time because I've got so much stuff going on. All right. And it's almost that energy... Um, I don't even want to say it, but it's just like I almost want to give up on love. I feel like for some of you maybe going through, uh, this is not to put out anything bad, anything like that out there. Absolutely not. You know, uh, possibly maybe working with some lavender, uh, fresh lavender, maybe a lavender oil, lavender incense. All right. Uh, but it, it's just like somebody here is wanting to connect with you. Somebody new. Uh, also, too, this is uh, meeting somebody possibly, you know, with blonde hair or lighter hair or thinking about changing up your look and everything like that in order to make sure because um, you're cool with yourself. You're good with yourself. It's it's everyone else that seems to have the problem. You understand, Aries, you know, uh, and it's just like for that. You for the and you should I stay? Should I go or possibly uh, somebody new that's coming in? You know, it's it just like I do not want to be fooled under the illusion here of this moonlight here. Uh, the perfect example that I could give is have you ever been to a club before or at least a dim lit restaurant, you know, uh, and it's it just like you're in the moment and the, the lighting is great. And it, it just, you know, the candles are lit, the food's great, dancing, whatever it may be, uh, even a movie theater. I'm not sure. And it's just like then when you get to the next day or <laughs> outside, the lighting changes and it's just like, OK, I'm seeing you now in a different perspective here. We're going to get to the bottom of things, possibly signs to be on the lookout for. However, it's it just um, you are reigniting that spark that maybe felt like that somebody was trying to take away or maybe a fear that maybe some of you might have had that. Maybe your partner is going to leave you because, and we all have these insecurities, all right? I can almost sense an Aries out there just being like, wait a second, no, I don't, <laughs> which is great. So you're going to want that back in. You know, significant relationships too have to do with family, have to do with pets, you know, children, friendships, stuff like that, career as well. All right, let's pull you a couple more cards here. I'm just kind of stopping by saying hello to all of you, giving a quick update here. Hopefully that this message is helpful to somebody out there. I know the headphones may look a little bit ridiculous. Unfortunately, the noises, it does cancel that out. <laughs> and I'm mentioning that too, because Aries, when it's time to go to work and Another reason why I'm saying don't announce your next move, your next step. You're like, you know, I'm busy with uh, school work. I'm busy. Uh, and it's not like you don't even want to say working on my relationship or trying to better or enhance myself in order to receive abundance in order to get that relationship. Wow, that's weird. You see that? I'm doing this. This is no editing trick. We've got a more orange glow in the background right there. Blue. Somebody in a race car. When you try to get something done, that's when the interruptions come on in, <laughs> I swear. But we've got the orange-blue right there, all right? Uh, that could possibly be a twin flame energy, so that is very exciting. Let's see what's going on. This is uh, possible signs to be on the lookout for. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So we have uh, the first one that came out here. We have the six of wands right there. All right. When we're talking what I mean, why I say wands, that was the very first one. Card's like, nope, you're pulling me first. So we could be working with a fire sign other than yourself when it comes to wands. We're going to get to this in a minute. But again, look at that, that orange and blue twin flame energy. That's crazy, right? <laughs> the lights on my chair aren't on right now. So uh, for those who may be unfamiliar, uh, could be, you know, Aries, 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 Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And this person knows exactly what they want. And you know what you want. You want that that love, you know, that that fills you up. That's not going to empty you like a sponge. You know, a lot of your empaths out there, it's just like you, you take a sponge and, you know, uh, gathering all your energy, taking care of yourself, looking good, being fierce. And then you got... You know, those uh, sponges like somebody throws and it's just like, why are you dumping all of your problems onto me? Like I can fix everything, you know, it, the flattery is nice and everything. But, honey, I'm working on my stuff. And then you get like, you know, that your friend out there or relative or somebody like that. And they're just like, so what do you mean you're working on things? Are there problems? What are they? Do tell, do spill the tea. And you're just like, all right, you know, see, this is the thing I'm talking about here. This is why I do not announce certain things or let certain people in. Because, again, it, it, it's it's crazy because it's just like, you know, those types of people that, you know, you, they call you and uh, they're all about the drama, all about the drama. They thrive off of it, <laughs> you know. And it's just like, so how's everything going? Uh, you're, you, you could be like, career's good, relationship's good, this and that. I'm looking good, feeling good. You know, things are looking up. And then they turn around. Well, I'm not feeling so well myself. And then they, they start putting on that damper. And then they, they don't even listen to what you're saying. They just start throwing on their problems there. And it, it's just like, and then when you say something good that's happening, it, it's just like they turn around and they're just like, okay, well, that's great and everything that you're in a relationship, but hopefully you're not going to make the same mistake like you did in your last relationship or who was that, um, that nut that you were dating before and it's just like, excuse you, like, do you have no <laughs> Aries, all right, how about that? Uh, some of you too could also be working with Capricorn energy, even though wands are more fire, fire energy right there. So anyways, swords now, swords right there. So you got somebody that's just like, you know what, I don't even want to deal with this girl, guy, again, not gender specific, but it's just like, I need a, I need a vacay. <laughs> I need, I need to get the heck out of this situation, you know, uh, so this possibly could be working with an air sign as well, or maybe meeting an air sign. Maybe uh, that could be, you know, uh, Aquarius, that could be Gemini, uh, maybe even Libra. And it's just like, listen, honey, I've had it with the nonsense. I'm really liking this because this is a butterfly in the feeling uh, of your stomach type of feeling. You know, when you uh, see someone and it's just like, all right, I want to get to know who they are. They may drive me crazy. However, there's something edgy about them. I don't want to fall for the bad boy or guy, whatever, uh, girl, you know, I don't want somebody boring and basic either. I want a perfect mesh of the both of them. Twin flame energy right there. Twin flame energy, I'm not going to go into it too, too much on here. Uh, just, again, stopping by to hopefully, you know, help somebody out there with a couple of messages for December 2020 for my Aries out there. So uh, it, it's pretty much like this also, too. Uh, a true goddess you can never bury. All right, they can make a temple and put their lapis lazuli in, but uh, a true goddess you can never bury because they were never meant to uh, pass on. So that's a correction right there. So you can never really put a damper out on an Aries fire and a fire for this love. You know, uh, should I stay? Should I go? Honey, I could pull you cards for days and... Um, I think you're, you may be coming by again next month, uh, you know, to see Nicole. Definitely take her classes. Uh, they have greatly helped me out, always learning. 
all right uh but it, th- this is the thing with twin flames are what people don't realize is it's a mirror image pretty much of yourself and that's why they drive you crazy sometimes it's like because you're looking at yourself you learn off of each other it's supposed to be the other half of yourself all right so somebody here is just like sneaking out i don't know if anyone has any kids out there but it's just like watch out for them and i understand with this whole stuff going on people want to get out there they want to get out in nature or at least like do something normal without you know people barking down their throat or whatever just like you shouldn't be doing this you should be doing that and like that fear factor you know instilling fear and aries is just like honey please (laughs) i've been through it been there done that worn the t-shirt for it i'm gonna sneak out so some of you maybe uh if you do have uh, children or anything like that, they may be getting to that oh-so-fun dating age, <laughs> okay? And it's just like you can't stand to see who they are in love with for, like, you know, that phase because you know it's not going to – and they, you've been there, and they're not necessarily going to listen to you. You, you could give somebody the same exact advice from somebody else, but because you know your family and stuff like that. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Taken off. This is romantic. I'm really liking this. Uh, also, too, we have these six of swords. That's finding balance here because somebody here was definitely off balance. You know, you've got the frog right there. Also, too, some babies are coming through when we get to this romantic night here. All right. Spending quality time with yourself, spending quality time with others. Also, too, uh, this is just harvest moon. Something happened during the harvest moon or the upcoming for the next year is going to be happening during the harvest moon as well. All right. This is kind of like packing your bags and taking off. And that's not to scare anyone out there. Um, That doesn't necessarily mean that a relationship is going to break up. All it means is pretty much this. You're moving on to different things. It could be a career again, you know, a new love. Maybe you're sick and tired of somebody like verbally abusing you or other types of abuse, stuff like that. And you're just like, you know what? I'm going to wait till I fall asleep, you know, uh, and just pack it up and move it along quietly, very quietly. And that you're going to be very successful. All right. Sorry if this seems scattered. I hope that this was helpful to somebody out there. Thank you all so much. And until next, uh, I don't want to say until next time. We'll see you later.